Hey guys, welcome back to my mill project. Um, today I'm going to do the fine DRO adjustment on the mill. Um, 6.9 fine adjustment of DRO position. For imperial configurations, the number of motor revolutions required to one inch must be calculated. Attach a dial test indicator, also known as a lever arm test indicator or a finger aid indicator to the spindle. Create a test fixture. Create an L-shaped block of material to act as a reference to, for measurement as seen in figure 6.8.1. So what it is, here's your table right here. Then you've got a fixture that has 12 inches for a known dimension right here. And then there's a lip. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off here. I'm going to start here, zero our indicator, come up, then command the machine to go 12 inches in this direction to touch that. And that's what we're working on. So once we get this dialed in, then the machine should be pretty accurate. So right now, since I don't have 12 inch, a 12 inch standard, what I'm using is some one, two, three blocks, some very precision ones. The test bar needs to be an exact dimension of its overall length. So I've been checking it with my uh, height gauge and it is exactly 12 inches. Um, these were made by a very fine machinist some years ago and he's since passed on and I purchased his uh, toolbox and these were made by him and they are so well made that they actually ring together. I'll see if I can get them to stick and I'll show you. Just watch. That's pretty amazing. That's a, that's a really good grind job. So I zeroed my height gauge on my surface plate and then I came up on top of the gauge, the one, two, three block stack, and I zeroed my indicator out on it, and it's 12 inches tall, so that's a known standard now, and that's what we'll use for this test. Now onto the table and setting up there. Okay guys, here's our setup. Here's our 12 inch standard. And then we have a block on the very end where we can come up and we can touch off. So we're gonna start here. We're gonna zero our dial test indicator right here. And then we're gonna move our way across and then we're gonna touch this block and we're gonna jog in very slowly, incrementally until we zero in on that. So that's the first step. Okay, so let's, let's get going. Now, when we start, we want to start plenty away from the block and then we want to go in. We don't want to back up because we don't want to introduce any backlash into this uh, procedure. So you, you go back far enough, I'm about a quarter of an inch away from the block and then I'm going to jog in slowly and then I'm going to zero my dial test indicator and then we're going to zero do a part zero on our DRO then we're going to come up and then we're going to go in and then we're going to touch this block here and incrementally jog until we get zero and then we're going to record the value on the on the DRO okay so let's get started okay we're going to go into the jog panel which is alt J and then we're in continuous mode and since we're very close with our test indicator to the block. Okay, we wanna move towards the block. So I'm going to change things to slow jog. Now I'm gonna go into incremental mode and I'm gonna switch to ten, uh, hundredths of an inch. Get closer. Now I'm gonna go into thousands of an inch Let's see if I can get you where you can see the dial. 
Okay, I think you can see it there. So I'm in thousands. Okay, you can see it moving. Now I'm going to go into tenths and I'm going to get it till it just hits the zero. There it is. All right. Back you out. Now we're going to go up to the display. And I'm going to get out of jog mode here. Okay, we want to hit, we want to set X to zero, so we're going to do part zero. So set up, part, and then we hit F10, set. So now it's set. Now we get back to our main display. We go back into jog. And now we'll come bring you back to the part. Now we're going to go up, we're going to go up, Z plus, and then we're going to go over until we touch this block. So now we're going to go in continuous, go up. Okay, we're off, heading the X positive direction. Let's slow up a little bit on our jog rate. Okay, we're going to go on incremental. I'm really close now, so I'm going to go right into thousands. Until I touch the reference block, okay, I've touched it. I'm going to go into tenths now. I am in tenths, now I'm going to go until I get zero. Okay, that's really close. Now, I'm going to swing you up to the display. Now we know the block is 12 inches. We got 11.9564. So we take that number, 11.9564. We divide it by our 12 inch standard, 12 inch, that equals, and now we're going to take the resultant number. So we go into setup. Let's get rid of the jog display. Config, one, three, seven, enter, machine motor. So we're going to take, we did 11.9564, divided it by 12, and now we're going to take the resultant number times 11.9564, 9564, enter. Okay, now we take that number. 11.9564 one divided by our standard of 12 inches, that equals, and then we multiply that by 13.8 equals. Okay, that's our new motor revs per inch, which is 13. Point seven four nine eight six. Enter, and then we do an F ten to save. Let's make sure it took thirteen point seven four nine eight six. All right, so that looks good. I'm going to swing you back down to the table. And we repeat this again, the whole process to see if, the, the, the goal is to hit 12 inches on our DRO. Okay, now we're gonna head to the X minus direction. We're 
right? So we go past the edge of the block about a quarter of an inch. We're going to go down. Okay, now we're going to head towards the block to take out any backlash. We're going to go into incremental mode. I'm in hundredths, so I'm going to get close. Now I'm going to go into thousandths. Okay, we're moving. Now I'm going to go into tenths until I get my zero. Looks super close there. All right. And do a part zero on our display. So we do F1, F1 again part, and then F10 to set it. So now that's set. Come back down to our part. We go into uh, jog. We're going to go come out of incremental, go to continuous, and we're going to go up. Now we're going to go in the positive direction. And as we're moving, the DRO is obviously moving. Bring you back down here. Let me get a little closer. Okay, go into incremental. I'm in thousandths, needle's moving, now I'm going to go into tenths. Okay, we're right on zero. And take a look at our display. We hit the mark. And that's how you do the fine tuning of your your machine steps per inch so it's accurate so that's our x-axis is complete I'll set up my y-axis and we will uh, do the same process and let's see how close the numbers are the screws on X and Y are, are are the same and the pulleys on X and Y are the same so let me get set up and then I'll bring you back okay we're set up to do the y-axis so we're going to come in on it. So I'm going to, we're jogged down already. So I'm going to go into incremental mode. And I'm going to move the table in the positive direction. Now we're in thousands. Now I'm going to go into tenth. Okay, we're zero. We come up to our display. Sorry for the odd angle. Okay, so we're going to go, let's get the jog, dis jog panel out of the way. And we'll go next axis, which is Y. And we're going to set it. All right. So now we're set. We can get out of that screen. Come back to our part. Go into our jog panel, Alt J. We're going to go fast jog. So we're going to come up, bring Z up. Okay, now we're going to bring our, uh, we're going to head in the positive direction. Y. So we get close to the block. I'm going to go into a slow jog. Slow jogging until we get really close to the block. Okay, 
Okay, go into incremental mode. I think we can go into tenths. Okay, we're super close. We're going to thousands. Okay, now we're going to go into tenths. Now we're in tenths. We're in hundredths before. So now we're going to get on to our zero. And there we are. We're at zero. And our resultant number is 8.967. So it's 8.9676. I'm going to back you up a little bit. Okay. So let's get rid of the jog display. Alt J. And we go setup, config, 137, enter, machine, motor. All right, so we wanted to go nine inches. So we take our number that we actually went, which is 8.9676, divide that by nine, and we get. 0.9964 and we multiply that by 13.8 13.8 and we get 13.75032 and then we hit enter and we're going to save it okay now we do the rinse and repeat thing. Okay, let's check things out. Okay, we're right on zero. And take a look at our display. One tenth. That's close enough for me. Okay, guys, this is how I'm going to do the Z. So that I don't introduce any backlash. I'm going to come down to the top of this block. I verified this block is exactly three inches with my height gauge. We're going to come down, touch off on it to zero, then we're going to move our block out of the way, and then we're going to come down to the table until it's zero. And uh, we'll get our calculations from there. First things first, we're going to jog down. I'm going to slow this down a little bit. Okay. I'm going to go in incremental mode. And let's go a thousandths. Let me move this, zero this a little bit. Or we can get some preload and be able to see zero. Okay, I'm going to go into tenths. I am in tenths. I'm going to come down until I hit zero. And it looks like maybe one more. Yeah, probably went a little hair too far. Okay, I want to be up enough so I'd introduce backlash. And I'm going to come down. Incremental mode, and I'm in thousands. Okay, I'm going to go to tenth. Okay, we're zeroed there. 
Now we've got to go to part zero for Z. F1, part zero. You want to go to Z. We set Z to zero. Okay. Now, get you back over here. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to move our block out and we're going to come down to the table. Control Alt I, bring it down. Okay, control I, incremental, come down. Okay, now we're going to thousands. Okay, now we're going to go into tenths until we get to zero. Okay, we are at zero. Let you look at our resultant number. It's not far off, but it's off. We take our resultant number, which is 3.3.001 3 7. Divide that by 3 equals, and we multiply that by F1, F3. 137 machine motor by 7.5 7.5 and our new number is to try 7.50425 enter and then we're going to save that all right so we get to do this all over again See if we hit the mark. Alt J for the jog display. Control I. Let's do a Control F to get up there a little faster. Okay. Now we're going to go to Control I incremental. Well, we're super close right now, so I'm going to go into thousands. Thousands. Now we're going to creep up on it. Now we're going to go into tenths. Looks close. All right. We're going to go into our display. And we're going to zero our Z axis. Get rid of the jog panel. F1, part, X, Y, there's Z. We Z that, get back to the main display, jog panel, bring you back down. Okay, we're going to move our block out of the way. Now we're going to go fast jog down. Slow the jog down. Control F. Okay, I'm going to go into incremental and I'm going to go to tenths. Okay. Pretty freaking close. So our z-axis is set. So that concludes the fine-tuning of our um, axis movement and dialing them in.